Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Dark Shadow here, bringing you another LEGO review. This is the LEGO Agent Sign, version 2.0. This is the River Heist set, uh, number 8968, with 203 pieces. This is actually one of my favorite sets from the LEGO Agent Sign, but also this is one of my favorite themes of all LEGOs besides Star Wars. And I would really love it if they redid this all over again. That would be absolutely fantastic. But, yeah. Other than that, let's get to the minifigures real quick. So, starting off, we have Agent Fuse. He is actually really cool, and he was in the first wave of LEGO Agents. He has a new breast piece right here, which is actually really cool. And let me just take off this real quick to show you that he has the original one, like the original torso. So nothing new has changed besides the breastplate. But also another thing that this uh, Lego minifigure has is dual printing on his head, which is actually really cool. He has a normal face and a scared face, as you can see right there. It's actually really cool how they did this. But yeah, it's pretty generic and everything, so let's go on to the next one. Alright, now, the next one we have here is all exclusive except for the hair piece. It is Lego Dr. Bill. You can see the headpiece is exclusive and also the torso. And also, it is a dual printing on the torso as well. Here, let me just turn him around. As you can see right there, it's a dollar bill, so it's a really ni nice uh, minifigure. I really do love this minifigure. And I highly recommend this set to anyone, to be honest. I'm sorry to say that early, but yeah, totally worth it. But yeah, this is Dynamite. This is a pretty generic figure. I believe she's in another set as well. I can't remember which one, though. But yeah, there's also back printing right here. It's pretty common. Like, it's not nothing too insane, but yeah, I really do like it. It's a really nice minifigure, and uh, and yeah. Alright, now, let's get that out of the way, and let's go on to the set itself. First, we have the LEGO Agents Jet Ski. It is actually really interesting, but it's pretty common, like nothing too insane, but yeah, it's pretty simple. It also has a flick a action. I'm not gonna flick it all the way, so you guys can know. But I love this more so than the stud shooters because it's so much better. <laughs> I don't know if there was a problem with that, but you can just let me know in the comments. But yeah, now let's get on to the main thing, which is the water boat, I believe it's called. I, I don't know if exactly if it's called that. But yeah, this is the safe that you your mission is to recapture the safe back from them. It has a $3 bills. It's a pretty standard safe, but let's check out this. I actually really like this water boat. Here, I'll show you a few things. As you can see, there's two bombs included with it. The side stickering is a little, like, it's really tough to work with, but yeah. As you can see right there, it shows the countdown number of 30 seconds. Alright, let's put this back here. And it also has a mechanism where when you move it, the fan moves as well, and I am actually really happy about that because it looks really cool. And you can see the mechanism right here. It goes all the way down to the bottom, where you can see there's two wheels. So all you need to do is just move it, and the, and the fan in the back moves as well, and it's really cool. And I really like the design of it as well. Like, besides the spacing in the middle, it's all good as you can see right in there, but you can just put one figure right there and the other one right there, dollar bill driving and dynamite, throwing bombs at them, <laughs> um, agent fuse. But yeah, it's a pretty nice set, I really do enjoy it. Here, let me just move her real quick, and there we go. Alright, now, let's check out the box art. It's pretty cool, and I like the city feel to it as well. It's pretty, really, actually, it's really cool. All right, let's show you here, just one more glance. Let's show you the top of it. Sorry, the camera is really low. I'm sorry about that. I'll get a better camera angling for it. But yeah, here is the back of the art, of the box art. As you can see, there's three minifigures. 
a little bit of another action scene. It shows how everything works. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I really do like this. Yeah, it's pretty simple, but pretty good. I really do enjoy it. But also, I want to show you another thing. On the back, it shows all the other missions, including this one. I don't remember the names. This one, the River High set. Oh, yeah, the Four Wheelie Pursuit, a Robo Attack, and uh, Aerial Defense. And that one, I believe. Actually, I am going to get that set soon, so I'm going to remember the name when I get it. Stay tuned for that, by the way. <laughs> But yeah, it's a really cool set. I really do enjoy it. All right, let's check out the pamphlet. Ah, no, the instructions, sorry. But yeah, check this out. It shows the original Lego Max Exoforce, one of my favorites as well. Mars Mission, uh, ca uh, Castle, uh, City, and yeah. And also on the back, it shows the two sets, uh, Robo Attack and Aerial Defense. And it's showing Dr. Inferno's master plan of designing a robot and taking over the city. And also Magma Commander taking over. But yeah, it's a pretty cool set. To be honest, I will give this a 9 out of 10. Because it's really cool and really worth it. Including the minifigures and the set itself. And it really sets itself apart from the other uh, Lego, uh, LEGO agent sets out there. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say about that set. Other than that, I hope you all enjoy, and I will talk to you all later. Have a good one.